After the International Space Station and the Large Hadron Collider, the world's next great science project is the Square Kilometre Array. Today I want to set out our plans for that challenge, and it's right to do so here at Jodrell Bank. The Large Hadron Collider is about smashing together protons to create the same environment as in the universe a moment after the Big Bang. This new project is to help us understand what happened after the Big Bang as hydrogen atoms formed and then came together to create the first stars. We want to see the first light. And we can do so because hydrogen atoms emit radio waves. I'm told that the data flow from the square kilometre array could be 20 times bigger than what flows across the entire internet today. And we need the capacity to handle this. We need even more than that to bring it together and turn it into a map, a new 3D map of the heavens based on where the hydrogen atoms are sending us signals from. And in the UK, we have the opportunity to play a leading role in analysing these vast quantities of data. We will need computing capacity a thousand times greater than anything that's currently available. And I want the UK to lead that computing challenge. And today I can announce that, subject to international negotiations, we are committing around £100 million of investment in that project, the Square Kilometre Array. And here, near Manchester, is the right place to do that. It will link up to the massive investments in high-performance computing that we're making at Darsbury nearby, where we've already committed £11 million for collaborative work on the Square Kilometre Array software, as well as £37 million for other advanced software development, and £19 million on energy-efficient computing. Five years ago, there was speculation that Jodrell Bank could close. That would have been a tragedy. Now, I believe, it can be at the centre of the next generation of radio astronomy. Today, I have been able to announce around £285 million of new investment in three world-class science projects. Together with the major investment the Chancellor announced in quantum technologies in the autumn statement, this means a total new investment of over half a billion pounds. British scientists will be able to play a leading role in Plato, a new planet-hunting satellite. We'll be making a major investment in the Square Kilometre Array, guaranteeing a future for Jodrell Bank for the next generation. And we will be key partners in Europe's project for a new spallation source. In a way, the Square Kilometre Array will be the world's most powerful telescope and the European spallation source its most powerful microscope. This is evidence that we are absolutely serious in our ambition for Britain, quite simply, to be the best place in the world to do science. Thank you very much indeed. It's wonderful that the UK, and the Minister in particular, has shown leadership to step up and for the UK to be the first country to announce significant investment in the SKA. It's fantastic for the project. We're really delighted that he's been able to make these long-term commitments that go many years into the future. Uh, and I think it's a real vote of confidence, not just in, uh, in the UK science community, uh, in these particular projects, in our future as a science nation. Well, I think he's lit the blue touch paper, yes. Uh, and what we need now is other countries uh, to pile in and get us into orbit. Minister Willets has just visited Australia, and I think he will tell you that uh, the Australian government is very, very keen to see this project go ahead. It's the first time I've heard Minister Willets speaking. Uh, and I really was won over by not just what he said, but by how he said it. Well, I'm a great supporter of the British scientific and space efforts, and this government has taken the strategic decision that science and space is one of the things historically we're good at in this country. We're going to carry on being committed to it in the 21st century, and we want to see more great science here at Jodrell Bank and from our space community as well.